Hello everybody! Welcome to the first ABAP Championship! I am Fabio Pagocci from ABAP101.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to join the championship and as a consequence let you enjoy a great opportunity to learn ABAP at the same time you can have some fun. Before start let me introduce you blog ABAP101.com the blog was created by Flab for Learn in 2007 and our aim is to keep being a reference in the Brazilian SAP community helping our boppers not just to be better developers but to help them to be better professionals one of our main pillars is open source projects we understand they can be a valuable starting point for those who would like to start work with ABAP and the first ABAP 101 championship is based on one of our open source projects hosted in SAP Code Exchange, the ABAP 101 Tic Tac Toe project. ABAP 101 is written in Portuguese, but you can read our blog in your native language using tools like Google Translator. Also, I invite you right now to subscribe our newsletter and to follow us in the media, where you can stay tuned in our projects and, of course, keep learning ABAP with us. The challenge behind the championship is to develop a Keystone SAP object which will be used by ABAP101 Tic Tac Toe project. This is a project which has a very simple requirement, be a Tic Tac Toe game. However, it was completely done using WebGimpro for ABAP, ABAP objects, MVC and other, other key stuff. I can guarantee you that the game is quite surprising at first sight. The great thing is that you don't need to know all these technologies. In fact, you only need a very basic understanding of ABAP objects to participate in the championship. To install the project in your ABAP trial version, visit our project homepage in FEP Code Exchange platform. There you'll find all necessary instructions to install it. After completely installing the project and before launching the challenge, let me show you how to play the game. This demonstration is important because it will help you understand what will be necessary to be done. Ok, first step, run your WebGimpro application located inside project's WebGimpro component. The game menu will be shown. To start playing, click at option Play. The game board will be displayed. The string has three different and important pieces of information. The main one, located in the center of the string, is the game board. Internally, its squares are numbered from 1 to 9. The second are the two boxes located in each side of the string. They show information about game players, like player's name, player's type and their score. Below the string, they're the third and last box, where you can check game status. The player responsible for the next turn has a black border in its avatar. Below each player avatar, you can check the type of the player. There are just two types of player, a human player and a non-human player. By default, the first player is a human and the second player is a non-human player. This means that the ABAP application server is responsible for making the choices during the game related with the next play. To play a turn using a human player, just click in the desired blank square and it will be updated with the avatar corresponding to the respective player. To play with a non-human player, just click on the play button located inside player's information box. It will only be enabled when the player is the responsible for the current turn. When the game ends, player score are updated, a message is displayed in the upper part of the screen and no more turns are possible. You can start a new game clicking in new game button. You can define some game options and here's where the challenge begins. In the game options, you can define player settings, like their names and their types, I mean, human or non-human. If a player is defined as non-human, you must define a global class 
responsible for its artificial intelligence. By default, the class Lazy Player is defined. I will talk a little bit about this class later. For now, it's important to know that the class defined here must follow some prerequisites. You can check if your class follows some of them using the Test Class button. Your participation in the championship will be done through a Keystone Global class created by you. You have to build an artificial intelligence class for a tic-tac-toe player to be as smarter as possible. Given a game board, this class will have to decide what is the best play in order to win the game. You can build more than one class with different strategies if you want. So, you can have more possibilities to win the championship. The project already includes a Keystone Lobo class, which you can use as a model. I am talking about Lazy Player class, which is set as default inside game options. Basically, your class must have its instantiation public, implement a fixed interface, and have a small piece of code inside its constructor. You define its instantiation in Properties tab inside Class Builder. The interface mandatory to be implemented is Player AS, which means Application Server. You must include it in Interfaces tab. As soon as you do so, Attribute, My Value, and Methods Decide Next Play will be created in your class. My Value attribute will keep the information if your class is X or circle during the game. And the most important part, it's inside method decide next play where you will add your custom logic responsible for answering the following question. What is the best square inside tic-tac-toe game board to be chosen in the current turn? This method will import an object for a tic-tac-toe game board and must return the chosen board position, number from 1 to 9. You can check that lazy class always returns the best board position as the first empty position found going from 1 to 9, and that's why it's called lazy. Last but not least, you must implement a constructor for your class. This constructor must have its formal parameters exactly as the constructor of lazy class. Formal parameters names must be followed exactly as your constructor will be called dynamically during the game. Inside constructor you have to add the first line of code from lazy constructor. This code just stores a X or circle in my value attribute as soon as object is created. You can have more code inside the constructors if you want. As soon as your class is finished, you can use in the game. Now that you have all the information needed to build your class, don't lose time. Study the project, study the classes, implement your best logic. And of course, have some fun with it too. Stay tuned in abap101.com, in Tic Tac Toe Project, in SAP Code Exchange, and in my blog at SDN. There you can read more about the championship, its rules, prizes, and look for some hints. Good luck, and thanks for watching.